My name is Jillian Paisley. Um, I am from Massachusetts, um, and I go to school at Oberlin College in Ohio. Um, I'm a, going to be a junior there this fall. I major in creative writing and sociology there. I'm a development intern at the Fine Arts Work Center, like MX here. Um, and uh, as a development intern, we work a lot in the office. Um, and I guess we're focusing primarily on fundraising, um, in addition to other things. But so to give some background at the Work Center, there are two different kinds of internships. There are development interns like me, um, pro summer program interns. Um, the summer program interns work more surrounding the summer program, which is going on right now, where um, students from anywhere can come and take classes. Um, whereas the development interns kind of focus more on just like the work center in general. Um, and the work center is in its 50th year right now. So there's a $5 million celebratory capital campaign um, that we are helping with. So I guess one of our biggest duties this summer has been helping with the auction, which is coming up next week. Um, and helping to recruit silent auction gift certificate donations for that auction, which ultimately raises money for the work center's endowment and capital campaign. Um, and then, you know, we helped out with the summer awards, um, the lyric series and stuff. I've, my favorite parts have been when I get to do some writing, um, you know, some bios for people who are coming, et cetera, when I actually feel like I'm, you know, having more of a tangible impact um, and doing stuff that I feel like I'm good at. So it's mostly work in the office, um, a lot of talking on the phone, which I think I've gotten a lot better at as the summer's gone on, um, and just talking to a lot of different people, which is really cool, um, and I've definitely learned a lot of skills from that. My name is Elias Griffin. I am a studio arts and computer science double major at Hamilton College. We work some 25 hours a week um, and a lot of it is keeping this place kind of running um, a little more smoothly. Uh, I'm one of the summer, um, the summer operations program, so like there's like faculty readings, you know, three nights a week and we set them up and we sell the books and you know, we facilitate everything. We'll set up breakfast every morning, we'll help with orientation. It's a lot of like the small little things that this place needs to keep going. Um, I'm Alec Versaki. Um, I've been with the Work Center for about a year now. Uh, came in in 2017 as a summer intern, but stayed on for an extra year uh, to do a variety of work for the Work Center. We had a very diverse group of interns last year. And for me, it was finding my space within that group. Um, for a while that summer, I felt as if I needed to uh, find my way rather than force my way into a group situation. And, you know, I had to learn how to mold myself in with people from various upbringings and how to maneuver certain situations that I hadn't yet experienced. Halfway through the summer, I let go of a lot of that and I was able to uh, blend myself in more with that group. And that, that was a big thing for me was to just get acquainted with people I never um, met before and have to spend 11 straight weeks interacting with them constantly. I think that communicating has been a huge part of my time here at the Work Center. Um, you know, with talking to so many people, you really learn tactics about how to approach different kinds of people who you can tell are in different moods, you know, like there's a completely different way that I talk to, like a visitor in the gallery versus like a waitress who I just caught on the phone when we're calling for a gift certificate donation um, and I think to learn to sort of adapt how you communicate to people in different positions has been pretty pretty meaningful um, and also just in terms of like writing on uh, social media use and putting up posters um, you know there's a lot of different ways that the work center reaches out to its base 
um, you know, and its friends. Um, and in our role as development interns, we really get to see a lot of that, um, you know, and be a part of a lot of that communication um, to the giant network of people that the Work Center has amassed over the last 50 years who are interested in it. So, yeah, it's definitely been really, really meaningful in that respect. Uh, other things was just you know, getting used to being around people that were famous. That was a big struggle for me because I'm primarily a working class person. Um, I just, I never knew I would meet famous people or people that uh, were making work that I really enjoyed. And now I'm just doing that on a normal basis. I really like the staff meetings, which is a very uncool thing to say. Um, it's, I think it's sometimes one of my favorite parts of the week just because I think it's kind of fun to hear what's happening and also it's the place where I most feel like I could make an actual difference. Like if I suggest something to um, Bet, who's the person who's kind of in charge of us and she likes that idea for, you know, it's never like a crazy idea like, oh, let's do this event. It's more like, you know, a strategy for something that we are already doing. Um, but it's cool to be able to kind of get that approved and move forward with it. That's kind of where I feel like I'm having the most power within the organization. Um, yeah. <laughs> Unexpected surprise. Um, whew. Honestly, all of it probably because I didn't have much of a sense of what I was going to be doing really at all. Um, so, you know, I, I got a, I'm a big researcher when I'm heading into, you know, an opportunity or like when I was applying for colleges, I really made it a point to know everything I could possibly know beforehand, you know, do a lot of like reading online and stuff. And I did, you know, I read a lot about the work center and I did understand what it was. I just didn't understand what my job would be. Um, now that I'm looking back at the internship description, it very closely actually matches up with what we've been doing, which is really cool um, that they are so kind of honest up front. However, like in reading that without it being explained to you, I didn't know what those things meant. So when it says like recruiting local businesses for donations, I had no idea what that meant. So like I knew what a silent auction was, but I never even knew, I had no idea how it worked and stuff like that. There were a couple weeks in the middle of the summer in July that I am convinced were the busiest weeks of my entire life so far. I'm sure I'll have busier, but between, um, so as part of the internship, we are allowed to take two different classes, week long classes at the work center, which is a really great opportunity. So my two weeks of classes were right in a row um, and during those two weeks, I would be in class every day from 9 to noon and then generally work at the office from, you know, 12.30 to 4.30 or so or 5.30. And on some nights, I would also then have to work at the ice cream store in town. So there was like a day where it was like essentially like 9 to 1 in the morning. Um, and it was pretty exhausting. I think it was... It was an obstacle, but it was also a test of my endurance. I really do have loved exploring this town because um, it's such an interesting place and there's so many like hidden corners of it. So I haven't been to the beach that much, but I've been a couple times and I really like that. Um, and there's just so many things to see like on Commercial Street and stuff. So it's really nice to walk around there like, you know, in the early evening. Um, or late at night. Um, it's a lot of like good food in town, good places to check out. Working with all these other people because I mean I think about what it would be like to have sort of a job or position over the summer where you were like the only student there and I'm sure that would also be cool in other ways but it's nice to I don't know, like, I think the Fine Arts Work Center does a really good job of making the internship sort of a community within itself. So I've had some really good times. I mean, I don't like hang out with the interns every day or anything, but, you know, I've had some really fun times getting to know people all from different, um, like, colleges and stuff. And one of them actually, incidentally, from my hometown, which was surprising, but kind of cool.